everybody video here for you today keep my eye on the situation in Minneapolis and it's really tough to keep quiet about that situation might have a video on that coming up I don't know we're going down to Tel Arab today in Israel this is an archaeological site I have never talked about a story just popped up so I wanted to make a quick video here the origins of this place go back 6,000 years at least there is some history coming from about 3,100 years ago, and this is tied to some biblical history down here. Here is a look from the site, and this upper area of this tell or hill was settled about 3,100 years ago, about 3,000 years after this lower place was occupied and people were living here. Here's a look from the site. There are ancient sites all over this area. This is just one of them I have not talked about. Just some history here. It says the Temple of Arad was uncovered by archaeologist Johannan Arani in 1962, who spent the rest of his life considering its mysteries, dying there in the mid-1970s. In the Holy of Holies, this temple, two incense altars and a standing stone were found, probably having been dedicated to Yahweh. The earliest occupation of this place is a little shady, but it seems to have gotten started as long as 6,000 years ago. And then it was abandoned about 4,500 years ago and then reoccupied about 3,100 years ago. So there's different periods of occupation, but this place was lived at, occupied for a long time. Here's a diagram from a website. Shows a fortress mound, city walls, other things found during the excavations here, temples, residential houses, other things. But the history here might go back five, 6,000 years. And when this place got restarted about 3,100 years ago, biblical historians attach that starting time to roughly the time of the biblical heroes David and Solomon. So they try to attach that history to it. And I guess that's understandable. That occupation lasted for about 1,500 years until the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II came in and took over, destroyed the place. Here's an interesting artifact found at the site, and this dates back maybe four or 5,000 years. They call this a clay model house. When I first looked at this, one thing came to my mind. Here is a website, Door to the Afterlife, Egypt and Malta. These are those false doors they are called in Egypt. I've talked about these, the symbolism in here. These are the gates to the sky or the gates to heaven. Here's another false door. More coming from Egypt. And here are ones coming from Malta. But that is what this reminded me of. Here is a story that just popped up yesterday. New research reveals cannabis and frankincense at the shrine of biblical or rad. Now this is something I have talked about before in videos, mostly a long time ago, but how the ancients were into mind expansion. Here is the front view of the shrine reconstructed here. It says analysis of the material on two Iron Age altars discovered at the entrance to the Holy of Holies of a shrine at Tel Arad in the Beersheba Valley, Israel, were found to contain cannabis and frankincense, according to a new article in the journal Tel Aviv. It says evidently they have played an important role in the cult practices of the shrine and unidentified black solidified organic material was preserved on the altar surfaces. Past analysis of these materials failed to identify their content and this dark material was re recently submitted to organic residue analysis by modern methods. The study reveals that on the smaller altar, cannabis had been mixed with animal dung to facilitate he heating, while the larger altar contained traces of frankincense that was mixed with animal fat to promote evaporation. These unique findings shed new light on the cult practices of biblical Judah, suggesting cannabis was used here as a deliberate psychoactive to stimulate ecstasy as part of cultic ceremonies. The lead author on the study says, this is the first time that cannabis has been identified in the ancient Near East. Its use in the shrine must have played a central role in the cultic rituals performed there. And I don't think that's the first time it's been found, but I think this is a very interesting story. It just gives us a little window into how ancient people thought. Is it a lot different than the way we think today? Hmm, I don't know. This story came out yesterday. This is physics.org. I will leave the link below. I just thought this was an interesting article. I've talked about this before. The ancients certainly didn't think cannabis was something bad. That is for sure. 
And you wonder what the burning bush of the Moses story was now? Well, that was a quick video. This site goes back maybe five, 6,000 years originally. It was occupied here mm. 3,100 years ago, starting for a long time. It has some connections with biblical history, and that's hard to find in real histories, connections to Solomon and David. But that site is just southwest of the Dead Sea there. A little ancient history, new report. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very safe day.